Welcome to Ottawa Glendorf High School, where tonight, in one of the biggest matchups in the state of Ohio, the Berlin Highland Hawks come calling on the Ottawa Glendorf Titans. Hello, everyone. I'm Danny Holbrook, alongside Dan Gilbert and our entire WSN crew. And Gilly, we've been talking about this one for weeks. I'm so excited. It doesn't get bigger than this in Ohio high school basketball. In house, dude. <laughs> We're in a packed crowd here. I'm starting to sweat a little bit. And I don't even have a jersey or tennis pads on. And I mean, look at this robust crowd. It's overflowing. Yeah, you, you can't find a seat here, Gilly. Look, it could be said that Ottawa Glendor may be the best program on this side of the state, and Berlin Highland owns that side of the state in their prospective divisions. Oh, Coach Slayball does a great job. He has for years. He's a graduate of Berlin Highland. You know, he felt like the schedule he was playing on that part of the state was just not up to par. So he wants to play the best competition and picked up Wayne Trace, who he, you know, pretty well. Beat him by 28 beat, last week. Yeah. Down on him. yeah. That's no disrespect to Wayne Trace. Because that's a good program. Exactly. But, you know, then to come over here and play at OG, that means he wants to prepare himself for a deep tournament run. And if you're Tyson McLaughlin, you want to play the best at D3 because they've been so close the last three years to get that state championship. You know, to, to, to be your best, you got to play your best. And he's upgraded the schedule. And the big benefit is he's got a 6'7 kid back now, Dave Westrick. Yeah, Dave Westrick is back. He's got an All-Stater, probably going to be the player of the year. And he's playing on the Supreme Court, partner. Yeah, maybe, maybe, we're speaking of Colin White, maybe Mr. Basketball in the state of Ohio. Folks, he's that good. If you hadn't had a chance to watch that young man play, he averages 25 points a game. He is dynamic. Gilly, this crowd, it's just overflowing full in here. And what a JV game we had. An overtime over game, 40 to 39. And the good folks from Holmes County brought in huge crowd. Well, they come in on that charter bus, maybe two of them, but I know we've seen one. But, you know, I love watching both of the coaches because they were positive with their kids. Even when mistakes were made, they were encouraging, they were standing up, uh, pumping their fist. I mean, it was like a varsity contest and went right down to the wire for a 40 to 39 overtime win for Berlin Highland. Yeah, let's take a look at the starting lineups for both teams tonight. For the visitors, Berlin Highland comes in at 10 and 3, 6 and 1 in the Inner Valley Conference. They'll start number 15, Alex Miller, a 5'10 sophomore at 8 points a game. Number 11, Sammy Detweiler, is a 6'1 senior at 15 points a game. Number 25, Connor Beachy, is a 5'10 senior at 4.7 a game. Number 24 is Nick Wigden, a 6'3 junior at 13.8. And number 45, Alex Shielder, the big man, 6'7 at 10.7 a game. For the Ottawa Landorf Titans, they'll go number 3, Grant Schrader, a 6'1 junior. 7.1. Number four, Grady Tomazos, a six foot junior at 6.1. Number 12, Ross Mag is a 6'3 junior at 2.6. Number 22, Colin White, 6'6 senior at 25 points a game. And number 24, Caden Erford, a 6'4 senior. And look, we talk about Here White Lock, but Caden Erford is a player. He is a player also, and they both complement one another very well. Speaking of White and Erford. Here we go. Underway here. Ottawa Glandorf with the tip. The shot goes up. It's off the mark. The rebound's going to come down. It'll be corralled by the Titans. This is Colin White out top. He's got the basketball. A little spin around. And he throws it out of bounds. Our first turnover of the night. Yeah, that was one of those in-between passes. Not enough spacing by the Titans. And unfortunately, Colin, you know, threw it in between and threw it out of bounds. This is number 15 for Highland. This is Alex Miller out top. He'll go across to Sammy Detweiler. Sammy Detweiler goes to Nick Wigden. Wigden goes back over to 25. Connor Beachy, their leading scorer is Sammy Detweiler at 15 points a game. And as we said, there's another there's a, turnover. Yeah, that's so. the, I, you know, it was almost identical the situation before. Yeah. I know Coach Slayball wants to keep the game in the low 40s to high 30s, but OG you know, wants to play the pace. We already know what they want to do. They want to make sure. it 94 feet of reckless abandon and try to make you look bad at his offensive team. This is White with the ball. A little jumper from the left side. Off the mark. Rebound comes down to the Titans. Jumper goes up from the foul line, and it's good. GT, baby, Grady Tomasos with a jump shot. And That's the second offensive rebound that Berlin Highland has given up. You cannot give OG second, third opportunities and expect to succeed and possibly win tonight's contest. And the Titans lead 2 nothing. There's a nice dribble drive, a little layup. One-hander goes off the mark. Rebound comes down. It's corralled by the Hawks. They'll set it back up top. 
Our and they turn around, had fair play, didn't they? They've got Absolutely. an offensive rebound. Our scoreboard sponsor tonight is Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Automated pergolas, retractable walls and screens, outdoor furniture, and outdoor kitchens. There's a three ball from the left side. Off the mark. Caden Erford corrals the rebound. He'll bring it down the right side. Here come the Titans into the middle. Shot goes up. Colin White with a oh, huge a rebound. rebound. And he misses the shot. Colin White out of nowhere with a nice rebound. Misses the shot. And the Hawks will take the ball over. The Hawks run the floor. I think and they got him for a walk. They did. They got number 45. That's Alex Yoder, the 6'7 senior. He misses the shot because he was called for travel. You, know, you, you think about it, partner. That's three offensive rebounds right now for the Titans. And Berlin's got one. And they're getting a lot of second chance points. Yes. You're absolutely right. This is Grant Strader out top. He'll go left side. They'll dribble drive out top. This is Strader from the top. Off the mark. Rebound comes down to Berlin. Gilly, we talked about Dave Westrick and coming back from that injury, and obviously they're not bringing him, or he's not going to start immediately. They're going to bring him along slowly, I'm assuming. Oh, they have to. They, you know, he went through a very severe injury, and secondly, you do not want to take minutes away from kids that's got you where you are. There's Alex Yoder. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're, they're playing with such a rhythm, and you don't want to hurt a kid's confidence. You know, even though the, all these kids are team players, sure. bring Westrick off, give him his minutes. There's a lot of basketball left this season. And you saw Caden Erford, the 6'3 senior. Nice block. A nice job of taking on the 6'7 senior, Alex Yoder. So a great job there. There's a dribble drive to the right side. They'll kick it back out. Might have, might have got away with an extra baby <laughs> step there. There's huh? a nice, nice dribble move. drive there by Sammy Detweiler. There you see the athleticism of Detweiler. The 6'1 senior yeah. averages 15 a game. Got 22 against OG with four threes. There's a three off the mark from White. And so a little shaky shooting here from both teams as Colin White misses that shot. But the game right now is favoring. There you OG. see, you know Sammy, what I'm absolutely, Sammy Detweiler knocks in the triple. He makes it 5-2 on the Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard. He must have heard me, huh? He did. There's Tomazos with a little jumper from the foul line. Off the mark. Here come the Highland Hawks up 5-2 on the Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard. There's another one from Detweiler. Sammy Detweiler, the seniors, got the last eight points for the Highland Hawks. They lead 8-2. Boy, I should have kept my mouth shut. <laughs> that, that young man has just popped two long ones. <laughs> Sammy Detweiler. He's got all eight for the Highland Hawks. There's a three ball from the left side, off the mark. Another miss by the Titans. Here come the Highland Hawks. Detweiler gets down the floor, and he scores again. Sammy Detweiler on a 10-0 run, and the Titans call a timeout. We got a timeout on the floor. We'll take a timeout on the booth. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. We're back here at Ottawa Glendorf High School where the Highland Hawks are on a 10-0 run. They lead 10-2 with 4.16 to go in the first quarter. Gilly, Sammy Detweiler's got all 10 for okay, the Highland Hawks. Mark, mark your words. Yes. When the All-Ohio team comes out in Division IV, yes. first-teamer. No, he is something else. You know what I'm saying? He's going to be a first-teamer. He is something else. May very well be District Player of the Year over there. And Detweiler guarding Colin White. Colin White brings the ball, dribble drive. Little fadeaway jumper from the foul line, and they're going to get a foul on Detweiler. And that was a play out of the timeout. Great timeout, you know, by Coach McLaughlin. I'm sure he's disappointed in the transition defensively, but offensively, tell me a bad shot that they've no, taken. No, they're getting really good looks. Colin Just White. Just stop falling. Yeah, Colin White goes to the free throw line. Our free throw sponsor tonight is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for your gate and your needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where homestyle happens here. So you know how Colin many, White knocks it in. You know how many free throws he's shot so far this year? A bunch. 119. That's unbelievable. And that's because he gets to the rim. 95 yeah. of 121 now at the charity strike. He gets to the rim and he knows how to do it. Well, high basketball IQ. Absolutely. 10 4 on the ultimate outdoor score. And there's a little alley oop to oh, Yoder. David and in Yoder Westrick. misses. And Westrick is in the game now. We talked about him earlier, the 6 7 senior who's been out most of the year with an injury. So he's down low against Yoder. A nice big time matchup of two 6 7 players. They'll try to push the ball, skip pass into Westrick. Westrick on the block, kicks it back out to Colin White. Colin White is guarded by Detweiler. White takes him baseline. White with a jumper, and it's good. Colin White, you knew it was only a matter of time. It was a matter of before time. Before the All-Stater get going, yep. So now a little pressure here by the Titans. And 
Highland breaks that pressure. They'll come down the floor, get it inside to Yoder. Yoder takes the shot. It's blocked by Wester. That's what Lynch. we've been talking about. The length of Dave Wester. Here comes Colin White. He'll kick it around. Three ball from the left side, and it's off the mark. Rebound comes down. It's corralled by Yoder, and the Highland Hawks will bring it down the floor. Great execution by the Titans. Those are going to start falling. A little dribble drive down the baseline, and it's blocked. Are you kidding me? Alex Wagner. <laughs> Alex Wagner off the bench. Made an Akeem Elijah one appearance there. Well, get, you know, give Berlin <laughs> Highland credit. They're not messing around on the perimeter now. They're trying to attack the rim. Here comes White again, guarded by Dell. Well, this is Caden Erford. We haven't seen Erford get involved in the offense yet, so we know they've got a lot of weapons on the OG team. Yeah, the spacing right now just seems to be a little bit off in the half court set for the Titans. The, I know that Caton right there made a you know a blow average decision, sure. and that comes down to spacing, and he's going to get a blow. Ottawa Landover will bring in number five, Connor Kitchen, the six-one senior, will come off the bench. Oh, very physical player. You know, played AAU a couple years ago, and offensive lineman, not tall, but big in stature and big in heart. 2.26 to go here in the first quarter. Ottawa Glendorf down 10-6. They'll go inside to Yoder. Yoder takes it up against Westridge and he scores. Nice he got Westridge off his feet and he scores the bucket. And it's 12-6 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Yeah, David would have stayed down there and just played basketball position. But uh, great move by that young man not taking anything away from Yoder. They'll go out top. This is Schrader with the ball. He'll go out top to Wagner. Wagner swings it around to White. White guarded again by Sammy Detweiler. What a matchup of those two players tonight. 157 to go here in the first quarter. Titans down 12-6 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. This is Kitchen with the ball. Swing it over to Schrader. Schrader dribble drive, foul line. Goes out White. White top three. And it's good. Colin White. Splish, splash. And he knocks in the triple to make it 12-9. You know, just watching after the shot goes in, Detweiler looked over over the coach and said, Coach, what am I supposed to do? You know, one bad defense. And there is a nice dribble drive there by number 13, Samuel Wayard. The six foot junior knocks it in. They're going to the rim, Gillian. They're going hard. Yeah, the, the 40 point, you know, is probably going to increase to about 50. Kitchen from the left side, three ball up, and it's off the mark. Rebound comes down, and it's brought back down by the Titans. And here come the Highland Hawks. This is Winger. He just scored the bucket. Takes it inside. They'll kick it back outside. This is Detweiler from the foul line. And it's good. Sammy Detweiler. Excuse me, folks. It's getting hot in here because that young man is on fire. Wow. 16-9 on the Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard. This is White. Dribble drive. Taught about taking the three. He'll kick it across. They'll come back up top. This is Schrader. Goes to the right side, takes it in, misses the shot. Here come the Highland Hawks up 16-9 with 36 seconds to go. Netweiler slows it down, they'll set the offense up. There's a three ball from way out top. Heat check from Sammy Detweiler, and he misses everything on that one. And the Titans with a chance to hold it for the last shot yeah, of the quarter. I'm, I'm a little surprised that Berlin Highland didn't hold the basketball for last shot of the quarter, especially being on the road up seven. A little surprising, a little yes, surprising. But, but Coach Slayball, he didn't give any signs or indications of it being a bad shot. White with the ball. This is Colin White trying to split a double team. A little jumper from right in front of the three line, and it's good. That's a two. It counted as a two. How big is that, though? Absolutely. And the announcer called it a three, and it's a two. After one quarter of play from the Supreme Court here in Ottawa, the Ottawa Glendorf Titans behind the Highland Hawks, 16 to 11. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard sponsor is Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Automated pergolas, retractable walls and screens. Outdoor furniture and outdoor kitchens. So Gilly, the Titans down 16 to 11, but you know, at the break, you and I both said they're getting good looks. They're, they're, they're getting to the rim. They're getting open looks. They're just not knocking them down. I, I, you know, just watching and observing this first quarter, they took, I think, one bad shot. Mm -hmm. But I think it's the transition game, right? Coach McLaughlin and his staff is a little concerned about because typically they're the team that runs transition. Right now, Berlin Highland's the one that's winning that part of the contest in the game. 
Well, right now, Sammy Detweiler is an absolute problem for the Titans. He's got 10 of their 16. Uh, that's what I figured. They're going go to they're gonna, OG is going to go to a face guard when he does not have the basketball. So they're going to try to keep him from getting the ball. There's a nice dribble drive. There's Colin White, excuse me, on the ball. He's got him corralled. They're going to get a five-second call. You know, the, the funny thing is, is I watched it. He got beat off the dribble. And he still got. And he still got with that shuffle of him, his, and that slot, side to slot. Yeah. Yeah, excuse me, side to side. He beat him to the spot. I, I'm forced gonna, that yeah, five second count. I'm going to say this, Gilly. His defense is vastly underrated. Oh, vastly well, underrated. Well, it's much improved. Yeah, he is a really good defender. So here come the Titans down 16 to 11. There's a dribble drive to the rim. Off the mark. Schrader tries to get the ball. And it looks like they're going to get a jump ball. And the ball will go back to Ottawa Glendorf. So they got away with one there, missed the shot, and the ball went down the floor, but the Titans will corral it. Six offensive rebounds for the Titans. Schrader will take it out underneath their basket. Gets it inside the white. Light guarded by Detweiler. A little foul line jumper, and it's off the mark. Rebound comes down to the Hawks. They'll bring it down the right side. This is Alexander Miller. He pushes it to the left side. Dribble drive, shot goes up, and Yoder corrals it in a big time rebound by Alex Yoder, the 6 7 senior. Knocks it in, he makes it 18 to 11 on the ultimate outdoor yeah, scoreboard. He beat Colin White to the basketball right there. Not, that's unusual, 6 7 versus 6 6, and he just beat him to the basket. Ball. Shot goes up, a reverse, and it goes awry. The ball comes down. Here come the Hawks. Miller brings the ball down. He's guarded up top by Grady Tomazos. Gets it over to Detweiler. Detweiler tries to go around and Caden Erford. A little hand check. They're going to get Erford on the foul. Called a hand check, called a slap across the wrist. Anyway, it was a little bit aggressive, but that's okay. Because now you're playing a little mind game with that player you're, def you know, you're defending. And nothing wrong with that. Just got to be smart now if you're Erford, not get another quick one. So Yoder has the ball up top, and he's guarded by Caden Erford. That's a tough assignment for Erford as Alexander Yoder, a big time score in the middle. There's a nice half hook, and he knocks it in. Alexander Yoder with the length there, and he makes it 20 to 11 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Fundamentally board. sound in the post. Yes, he is. Protecting is... the basketball with that left shoulder, baby hook. Tomazo is guarded by Miller up top. They'll go Erford. They'll go White to the left side. White skip pass across the floor. This is Schrader. Kicks it out. Tomazo's thought about taking it. He'll go to the foul line, take the jumper, and it's good. Grady Tomazo knocks in the jumper. Makes it 20-13 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. They're going to need scoring from a lot of other guys GT's tonight. GT's capable of doing it, too. He's a very good open floor player. There's a three ball, and it's good. Nick Wigden knocks in the three. There was a collision. We yeah, had a couple guys it. down, and it's 23-13. There's a jumper from the foul line. Off the mark. Rebound comes down to Yoder, and it's all Highland Hawks right now, Gilly. I think two players just got two, you know, tied up there, unfortunately, and nothing malicious. And there's Detweiler, another long three. Here comes Colin White with the rebound. White goes to the middle, finds Erford going to the rim, and he scores. Holy, Holy smokes, what moly, what a pass and a dish off to Caden Erford. Erford's on the board. It's 23-15 on the ultimate outdoor yeah, scoreboard. Yeah, they've been playing basketball for eight years bit, together, yeah. so they know one another. <laughs> a little bit there, Gilly. They'll go top side into uh, Alex Yoder, guarded by Erford. Erf oh, oh Alex they got him. Yeah, they're gonna get Erford, or they're gonna get, excuse oh, me, Yoder. They're oh, gonna yeah. get Yoder every time on that. A little bit of dramatic flair, but he did put his body right into her. And Coach Slayball is not a happy camper about that call, but I'm telling you, he squared his shoulder up and popped him right in the chest. He wants yeah. a flop, but that's not say, a flop. Coach Slayball, that was not a flop. No, 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 no. Erford's not going to go down that easy. That's a strong young man. And it's 23-15 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. So obviously, obviously, Coach McLaughlin and staff has watched film because they picked up on it. This is Erford. They try to get him open for a three. They'll kick it out to Colin White. Erford in the corner. They'll swing it over to Wagner. Back to Erford. They'll go back inside to Westrick. Westrick against Yoder. This is Erford. He'll bring it up top. They'll reset the offense. Colin White on the right side. Over at Westrick, almost a near steal. And you saw the quick hands of Logan Hershberger. As Logan Hershberger almost had a steal. Well, that that's one disaster. of those. That's sorry, Danny. That's no, one not. of those where Herford's got to set his man up and pop to the open area. Because if he doesn't seal him, that's a straight shoot into the gap for an opposite 
backcourt layup. And Erford loses the handle on the ball. Oh, that's and they're going to get Erford in on a second foul, Gilly, and that is huge for the Titans. And here comes, here comes bench personnel. It seems to be Kitchen. Yeah, Connor Kitchen will come in for Caden Erford. Caden Erford will go to the bench. He's got two tonight, but his presence on the floor as needed to win this ball game. Here come the Highland Hawks up 23-15 with 4.23 to go here in the second quarter. Well, defensively, they're not going to lose a lot with Kitchen on the floor. There, he just got beat on the back there door. There, a nice backdoor job there by Logan Hershberger. Logan Hershberger, a defensive specialist, and he gets an easy bucket, and they need 25-15. Well, they can beat you in so many ways, you know? Transition, offensive rebounding, White set plays. White, they go inside, Kitchen with the rebound, puts the shot up, and it's missed again. Rebound comes down to Yoder, and Ottawa Glandorf just can't find the bottom of the basket right now. There's a nice dribble drive, and there you see the quickness of Alex Miller as he gets to the rim, and the OG Titans take a timeout with 3.46 to go. We'll take a timeout here in the booth. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to Ottawa Glendorf High School, where the OG Titans find themselves down by 12, 27, 15 in Gilly. I, I'm in shock right now. It's, everything's going right for Highland. And you know what? This is a team that's got three losses coming in, and right. one of those, their last loss was against Sugar Creek Garraway, who was very young this year and is coached by former Kenton Northwest Ohio guy, Terry Rao. I mean, Terry's group must have played an exceptional game, especially being as young as they did. Yeah, well, we talked about it earlier. They, these guys came into Wayne, or they played Wayne Trace last week in a tournament and just beat them by 28, and now you see why. They're just fantastic the way they move the ball. This is White with the ball. He'll skip pass it across. This is Tomazos. Tomazos goes to Grant Schrader. Schrader on the left side. He'll dribble drive to the rim, and he scores, and he gets fouled. Grant Schrader, and you know Coach McLaughlin said in the timeout, let's get to the rim, And somebody's got to step up. You know, it, you know, we already lost Erford with two fouls. You know, David coming in, he's not in shape right now. He's, he's limited on minutes. I'm sure Tyson talked about getting somebody else involved. You can't put it all on Colin's shoulders. So Great move. Grant Schrader will go to the free throw line. Our free throw sponsor tonight is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken and Lima, Wapak, and Delta. It's called Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where homestyle happens here. And he knocks it in for an old-fashioned three, and he makes it 27-18 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. This is Detweiler trying to break that pressure. They'll swing it across. Detweiler goes across the timeline. Gets it to the corner, they'll go back. Detweiler guarded by Grant Schroeder. He's going to get a screen from Yoder. And you've got to be careful with him, Gilly, because he'll pop from anywhere, and they throw oh, it away. There's a big one right there. That is unforced. a big turnover. That's an unforced turnover. That's, that just, that's lack of communication between Miller and uh, Detweiler. That one set Coach Clayball on the, on the bench. Yeah, he, he got pretty mad about that one. Mark Clayball, a fiery coach. We oh, watched him grow great up player in, in, in high that school. area. Great player in him high and school. His brother. Yeah, they were fantastic. And now he's leading this crew. Three Love him in the goal. community. Colin White, little dribble drive. He'll kick it back out. Schrader on top. He'll go Grady Tomazos. Three ball from the left side. And it's good. GT, baby. <laughs> GT at his best. GT for three. I knew three. it was going to catch on. GT I knew it. for three. You're right, Gilly. That's absolute. Oh, there's GT with the hands. And almost a steal there by the Titans as they corralled number 15, Alex Miller. And he almost threw the ball away. Hey, GT's a gamer, man. I'm telling you, he's yeah. a gamer. He can shoot the basketball. If you leave him open, he can burn you. So the Highland Hawks with the lead, 27-21. Sammy Detweiler up top. He's going to dribble drive foul line. He'll kick it over to the left. This is Alex Miller. Alex Good job Miller on the top. switch right there by the Titans. They'll go Yoder inside, guarded by Westrick. Yoder trying to push the ball down low. And a nice turnaround, but he misses a shot. Oh, but there's man. a nice rebound. And this box out. A huge rebound for the Highland Hawks. This is Detweiler. He's going to go right side. And the ball went out of his hand. Here comes Colin White down the floor. Little spin move. He's going to take it up left handed. Oh, what a play. He's going to get fouled. He's going to get fouled. And he knew exactly what he was doing he when he went to the rim. He knew what he was doing. Right. He felt defenders. 
everywhere and yeah. still found a way to get to the rim and got it in the left hand. But so, what did it all start with? David's presence With their inside. defensive presence. And you know, you know, we, we talked about when they come out of the timeout, get to the rim, get to the rim. And so far, so good for the Titans. And he knocks it in. That's supreme court touch right there, Absolutely. baby. That's back of the heel, straight up and straight down. You know, Gil, I remember coming over here calling a game for WSM when that young man was a freshman. And everybody in the building kept telling me about him. Colin White, you got to watch him play. And you knew he was something special. And, and, yeah, here he is as a senior. 27-23 on the Austin Outdoor scoreboard. Titans clawing their way back down 10 earlier, and they've cut the lead to four. Here come the Highland Hawks. 2.05 to go. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert from a sold-out Supreme Court gymnasium here at Ottawa Glendorf High School. There's a nice up and under, and Detweiler is going to go to line for Old Fashioned 3. And Gilly, every time they need something big, Sammy Detweiler pulls it yeah, out. Yeah, what a great high school move right there. Leaning in, getting uh, and it looked like it was Restrick in the air. And yeah, they sure got Westrick on the foul, absolutely. He jammed that shooter's shoulder into his chest and got it a high and kissed it off the glass. And Detweiler with the shot, and he's off the mark. Rebound comes down to Colin White. 29-20, wow. that's odd. Uh, he missed that one. That <laughs> went to the right side. Can Considering a 79% free throw I was shooter. thinking the same thing when I looked at the stat board. Oh, boy. Uh, Wagner that corrals one that one. In. There. White goes inside to Westrick. Westrick trying to move the ball. Kick it back outside to Colin White. Colin White guarded out top by number 25, Connor Beachy. That's a really nice matchup. Here comes White. Throws it to the corner. Three ball from the left side. And it's good. Alex Wagner knocks in the three. And Gilly, it's a one possession game at 29 26 on the All Twin Outdoor scoreboard. Well, I think Coach Slayball has come in with the attitude, Colin's not going to beat us. Somebody and else has got to beat us from the perimeter, and, and that's what OG's doing, starting to hit the, shots. There's a nice running one-handed shot by Connor Beachy that goes in, and he calms the court here, and it makes it 31-26. Here comes Colin White, gets a big-time screen from Westrick, almost loses his footing. Corner three ball is up, off the mark. Rebound comes down to the Hawks. They lose the ball. Here come the Titans. Schrader with the drive. He scores, and they're going to get him on the foul. Oh, they're going to say he charged, and Tyson McLaughlin does not like that call, nor does the home crowd. You know, those are the kind of calls that can go either way, either way. That's a big one there because that, that could have cut it to a one-point game You're or actually right. a two-point game. This, this is, is Beachy, one you just yeah. got to keep playing. Beachy guarded by Tomazos up top. Two fantastic guards in their own right. Highland up 31-26. Trying to get, yeah, they're gonna get they're gonna get a they're gonna get a charge. They're gonna get a charge on number 13, Samuel Wenger, as Colin White got his feet in really good position, and he goes backwards, and they say he charged. What do you think of that one? <laughs> Speechless. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that, that's the toughest call in the game. <laughs> the look on your face and, was. <laughs> I mean, all I seen was 22 sliding across the floor there, and yeah. And for me to be speechless, you know me for right. years. Oh, absolutely. I mean, <laughs> totally. Holy smokes. Kate Nerford back in the ball game for the Titans. Remember, he's got two fouls. Down to 19 seconds. They'll go Wagner up top. Wagner gets it to Colin White. Colin White guarded by Detweiler. This is Caden Erford with the ball up top. We're down to the 10 second mark. Erford gets it over to Tomazos. Tomazos dribble drive, goes, here's White. Free ball from the top, and it's good. Oh, Colin what a win. Win. <laughs> the Titans. Oh, Colin White is right. At halftime, the Highland Hawks lead the OG Titans 31-29. We'll have second half action right after these messages. It's halftime here at Ottawa Glendorf High School where the Titans, unfortunately, are down 31-29, Gilly, but they made a heck of a comeback down 10 early in the second quarter. I was going to say double digits to, to do what they did to get this thing, you know, back. They got the crowd involved. And what I love the most, after the basket, right before the buzzer, all of those kids on the floor were fist pumping the crowd to get the crowd involved. That's how much they love playing in this gymnasium. 
And what a game right now by Sammy Detweiler from the oh. Highland Hawks. He's an absolute problem for the Titans. He is a problem for the Titans, both inside and out. Like I said, they can hurt you in so many ways. And then you turn around and they've got a real nice post player in Yoder. For the Titans, though, Colin White has been the do everything. He's got 13 right now to lead everybody on the board. I'm going to say he's do everything plus Grady GT. <laughs> yeah, right. GT for three. You know, GT. Right. I mean, seriously, JT, GT, excuse me, did his part there in this first half score, but they've got to continue to get the scoring other than Colin. So we are underway here from Ottawa Glendorf High School, the second half. It's 31-29. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert from Ottawa Glendorf High School. There's a three ball from the left side, and it's good. Sammy Detweiler, again, another three. Yeah, that one right there did not make the faithful in the blue shirts on OG's bench very happy. Makes it 34-29 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Here come the Titans, they'll bring the ball down. This is Tomazos with the ball on the right side. He's guarded by number 15 for the Hawks. That's Alex Miller. Miller. Yeah, Alex Miller. Yeah, they're starting to respect him a little bit now, they aren't are. they? Yeah, they are. Caden Erford at the high post. He'll swing out and get a ball. Three ball from the top from Erford. Off the mark. And the hometown faithful Wade. And there you see Alex Yoder, the 6'7 big man, is down in pain. And he is rolling Darren he, he yeah I don't know what I or? don't know and they are gonna I know they got Grady they got GT there for a reach in and a slap and he may have came down on the ankle it looks like when I say he was rolling he rolled over to his side and he is hobbling to get and, off the floor and look at the sportsmanship displayed by OG and you know going to make sure that kid is okay and yeah, it appears got, to be yeah, the right ankle they've got a trainer out there so that young man is going to be tended to but a big loss for the highland Hawks. well he'll be back seven uh, you yeah. gotta believe they're gonna <laughs> put a tape job on him and he's gonna play he is a really nice player his adrenaline starts flowing at least we you know you know we hope that he gets back out there and plays they're gonna take him in the locker room We're apparently gonna walk with him and see if they can loosen it up so here come the Highland Hawks, they bring the ball down amongst the full court pressure. Oh, there it comes. Yeah, well, there, there it's a little running jump. Run jump. You're right. Colin White on top of that. He's on top of the ball. That's a Sammy Detweiler. What a matchup that's been today. Detweiler at the top of the Titan. They'll swing it to the right side. They'll swing it to the left side. It's a dribble drive to the foul line. Ball yeah, without up. the big, they're going to that five out in motion, little screen and replace action. Three ball from the right side, and it's good. There you see number 24, Nick Wigden, who averages 13-8 a game, and it's 37-29. There's a nice dribble drive from the foul line. And GT dumped it off, I think it went to Mag, Mag, didn't it? Ross Mag with the deuce makes it 31-37 with 6.24 to go on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Yeah, OG does not want to let Wigden get started. He had against Wayne Trace 18 with four threes. And there you see Grant Strader with an almost steal but it's corralled by the Hawks. Three ball from the top. It's off the mark. Rebound comes down to Colin White. He kicks it out to the right side. This is Schrader. He'll dribble drive to the rim. Takes it up strong. Scores! Holy and he goes smokes. to the line. What Grant a strong Schrader. finish. That's exactly what the Titans need. And Grant Schrader will go to the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line for an old-fashioned three. That's one of those. If you're going to take it from me, you're going to have to earn it. And he got his shoulder into the defender as he got him in the air and just exploded it and pushed it through his face to the rim and knocked it in. 6.01 to go here in the third quarter. Titans down 37-33. Grant Schrader will try to narrow that lead, and he misses that shot. Rebound comes down to Nick Wigden. Wigden gets the ball. He's guarded by Colin White. A little 2-2-1. Two, two, Actually, yeah, it is a little 2-2-1 two, two, or a little bit. run and jump action. Yeah. And they don't get across the foul or the half-court line. A 10-second call, and the Titans will get a turnover there. 5.48 to go. Tonight's scoreboard sponsor is Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Automated pergamons, rectangular walls and screens, outdoor furniture, and outdoor kitchen. Colin White will take it to the right side. Back to the basket. He's double-teamed on the side. Gets a cutting guy inside. Great cut. And Grant Schrader great with the vision, baseline great cut. cut. Yes, Gilly. And he narrows the gap to 37-35 on the Ultimate Outdoor scoreboards. 
Wait, I don't believe the Titans have had a lead at all tonight, have they not? I, I believe. You know what? I'm Tyler, so wrapped yeah. into the doggone game, <laughs> I can't remember myself. And a nice left-handed layup there by number 15, Alex Miller. I hate saying it, but in a game like this, you just want to be one point ahead. That's right. At the end. There's Tomasos with a turnaround jumper off the mark. Rebound Good box comes out down. by Miller. It's corralled by Sandy Langer. And there's a nice dribble drive. And the Hawks lead 41 35. Sammy Detweiler's got 15 to lead everybody in the gym. This is Colin White. He finds a cutter to the rim. Ball goes off the mark. Erford, or excuse me, Erford will corral it. He'll go to Mazos. They'll go back to the right side to Colin White. They're trying to do their best to double team him, and he's just so doggone smart to find any open player. That, speaking of Colin White. So White will reset the offense. He's guarded by Detweiler out top. You're going to get a displaced foul if they're not careful yeah. inside. Caden Erford's going to be double teamed, and they're going to steal the ball. And a nice job on the back side by, that was number 24 for the Highland Hawks, Nick Wigdon. And Nick Wigdon's presence is huge right now. He's getting shots, and he's really playing good yes, defense. Yes, he is. Yeah, he's picked his game up since the uh, first half. So 4.09 to go. Island leads 41-35. There's a three ball from Detweiler. That goes off the mark. Rebound to the Hawks, and they're going to say it was off Ottawa Glamour. Not happy with the home crowd there. Yeah. Good job of a piece of officiating. Two nearest officials right here getting together. Ball's going to go to OG. It'll go back to Ottawa Glamour. So you're right, a good piece of officiating. Westrick's into the ball game. I'm not sure who the other one is, but Herford and Mag's going to get a break. So here come the Titans down 41-35. They'll go Tomazos. Tomazos goes down on the block to Schrader. Trader kicks it back to Tomazos. They'll go Colin White, top side. They'll dribble drive, and the ball's stolen. White trying to get back on defense. Here come the Highland Hawks. They'll screen it to the left side. They'll go back up top. Left side, dribble drive. Foul on extended, and it's good. Number 10, Logan Hershberger knocks in the jumper, and the OG Titans will take a timeout with 3.29 to go. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Back here at the Supreme Court of the campus of Ottawa Glendorf High School, where with 3.27 to go, the Highland Hawks lead the OG Titans 43-35. Danny Hilbert, Darren Gilbert, and Gilly. The shots just aren't falling. Here comes Colin White to the right side. Jumper off the mark. Rebound comes down. They're on the floor. And we're going to get a, looks like, uh, let's see what they call here. Jump ball. Jump ball looks like to me, yeah. OG's this, ball. This is kind of like the first half that we saw where OG was getting good looks, just not knocking in shots. Well, and you know what? Give a lot of credit to the black and red. They're running execution after execution, and a couple crucial turnovers by the Titans that turned into baskets. Colin White gets the ball to Westwood, but Westwood loses it. Yeah, that's the one. He's got to catch it, keep it high, and finish at the rim. Don't bring that thing down to where they can take it from you. This is Miller, number 15, with the ball. He swings it around, gets the ball out to Connor Beachy. Connor Beachy gets it back to Detweiler. Detweiler's got 17 on the night to lead all scores. His dribble drive to the right side. Shot goes up, and it's good. Number 13, Sammy Winger, the six-foot junior. And he scores it, and he makes it 45-35 with 2.40 to go in the third quarter. Yeah, right now, OG's letting him get to that. And you saw left the shoulder, strong right hand, and they're taking the ball aggressively to the basket against the home And you saw the cut there by Brody Fortman, and the shot goes up, no call made. And the home crowd's a little unhappy about that, but I didn't see a lot of contact on the play. I didn't either. I mean, it was looked like clean up on top. So the Titans will unload from their end. This is Caden Erford, and his shot is blocked. And here come the Hawks as they run the floor again. And the ball gets away from him, and they Finally get it under control. Dribble drive, they'll kick it out. It looked like it went off the hands of Detweiler. And no, they're going to say it went off of an OG Titans. Yeah, it went, so off, uh, went off of White. A little deflection action there. And there comes Mag in. I think he's going to get Westrick. Ross Mag comes in. You're right. And Dave Westrick will take a seat on the bench. 
216 to go. Danny Hobart, Darren Gilbert from Ottawa Landorf High School. The, Hawk, the Berlin Highland Hawks lead 45 35. And we knew it was going to be a good game. I didn't anticipate game a 10 runs. point lead. Yeah, you're right. Game of game runs. Runs. Yeah, right you're now right. it's black and black, white, and red on their little run. OG's going to get theirs. So just a matter of time. This is Miller with the ball. Guarded by Wagner up top. They'll swing it to the right side. Wagner still on the ball. Swing it over to Logan Hershberger. Logan Hershberger's played a nice game for the Highland Hawks tonight. Yeah, very consistent. I mean, not, nothing flashy, just doing the little things and not turning the basketball over. There's a dribble drive. Shot goes up. A lot of contact, but nothing but. And Logan Hershberger, there's that man again. He gets the loose ball. So another possession. Detweiler with the ball out top, guarded by Cade Murphy. And Highland just keeps coming at you. Detweiler takes the shot. A lot of contact. Yeah, no that call was, made. That was lucky on Erford right there. They could have got him for his, what, third? Yes, they could have. Titans come down. The shot goes awry, and that shot hit nothing. And kind of a... a it's almost know, like it slipped out of Max's yeah. hands. So a little bit of open gym look here by both squads as they try to get it under control here. Hershberger with the ball up top. He's guarded by Brody Fortman. 113 to go, Oxley 45-35, and they're yeah, going to get Hershberger on the track. Yep, sure did. Yeah, good job by OG jumping that passing lane. It was going to be a dribble handoff, and got Hershberger a little bit out of control, and he picked up that pivot foot and got called for a walk. Tomazos has come back in the game for Ross Mag. So take a seat. So 110 to go. Danny Holbert, Darren Gilbert from Ottawa Glendorf High School. Highland Hawks lead 45-34. Highland comes in at 10 and 3, 6 and 1 in the Inner Valley. And <laughs> watching them tonight, Billy, it's hard to figure out who. I mean, we got their schedule, but my goodness, if they play like this, they're really hard to beat. Well, and if you're the Titans, you want to just take and try to trim into this thing with this last minute of the third quarter. You're sitting right now at 10. Let's you know try to get it under seven. That should be your goal right here. And Erford, backdoor cut, he missed the mark there. He gets it over to White, White gets to Schrader. They go other side, or the right side, excuse me, to Tomazos. Tomazos dribble drive, foul line, kicks it out. Three ball from the left side, off the mark. Colin White with the rebound, puts it up left-handed, misses the shot, gets his own rebound. Another rebound, Colin White with three rebounds and nothing to show for it. And Hershberger gets the rebound for the Hawks with 37 seconds to go. They'll go three ball from the left side, and it's good. Number 15 for the Highland Hawks. Alexander Miller knocks it in, and it's a 48-35 lead. Yeah, unfortunately, that tough break for the Titans had three cracks at it, couldn't knock it in, and then coming down, and they pop a three to extend this thing to 13. And, and look, Gilly, for all the action, the Highland Hawks have really taken the OG crowd out of this one. Yeah, There's they White. have. Up top, three ball from the left side, shots up, and it's good. Colin White knocks in the triple to make it a 10-point lead as we head to the fourth quarter. We'll go to the fourth quarter. You're watching High School Basketball. Welcome back to Ottawa Glendorf High School as we start the fourth quarter. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert, and Gilly. OG finds himself down 10. What do they got to do to get back in this thing? Just chip away at it. Make your defense become your offense. They're going to start knocking shots down. We've seen that. You know, they had the run, Berlin Highland. Now they got to stop the run and take it one possession at a time. Get a stop, score. Get a stop, score. Number 24, this is Nick Wigdon with the ball out top, trying to get the ball to Sammy Detweiler. Detweiler on the left side, and boy, it looks like almost a near collision there. There's a dribble drive by Wigdon on the right side. One-handed shot put up, and it's good. There you saw number 25, Connor Beachy. Knocks it in, makes it 50-38. And there's a dribble drive by Schrader. It goes off the mark. Here come the Hawks, and they throw the ball away. It'll go back to the OG Titans. Yeah, that's the one right there that you know, Schroeder did a great job attacking the rim. The problem he got, he was too deep along the baseline, and it took the angle away from him going to the basket. 7.25 to go. Highland leads 50-38 here at the Supreme Court on the campus of Ottawa Glendorf High School. This is Caden Erford. He's got two tonight, Gilly. He's got two points tonight. They want to get him involved as they try to post him up down the block, and they'll get him the ball down low. This is Erford. Skip pass to the left side. Dribble drive on the baseline by Tomazos. Tomazos can't find anybody. He'll get it out to Colin White. Colin White will reset the offense. 
at the OG mark. And you think about this one. They're playing without their big inside. You went down with an ankle injury. There's Erford from three landing. He misses the shot. Rebound comes down. And it's brought down by the Highland Hawks. And they'll bring it down the floor. And, up I'm, 50, and, and I'm sure that had to change your philosophy to go from your big set to playing guards. And they've just uh, they've run their offense to perfection. This five out dribble drive kick. And well, the loose ball. And the Titans will corral it. Here comes Cade Nerfer coming down the left side of the floor. And he is hounded as he gets the ball over to Wagner. Wagner gets it over to White. And they're going to stay with Sammy Detweiler on White. White tries to take him inside. Three ball from the right side. And Great it's good. Pass. Grady Tomasa, GT for three. GT That's what they for need. three right off of Colin White. And his great read there. And Makes kicking it, it to the corner. 50-41 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. And Detweiler takes it in. Misses the shot. Rebound comes down to the Titans. They're down nine. Here comes Colin White with six minutes to go. White, little spin in the mid, and he misses the shot. He lost, looks like he lost the handle on well, that I one. think he was looking for a little contact, and he got himself in a position where he had to let it go or it's going to be a travel. Yeah, I think you're right there. With Detweiler on the right side of the floor. He'll swing it up top. Get it to Alexander Miller. Miller guarded by GT, Grady Tomazo. They'll go inside to number 13 for the Highland Hawks. That's Sammy Wenger. Going to their little a flex action. Jumper from Big Wigden. Shot. Just inside the three. Wigden knocks it in. And he makes it 52 41. Hawks lead by 11 with 5.21 to go. Great patience right there for the Highland Hawks. Erford Dipper lives on the left side. Shot goes up. A lot of contact. No foul called. And here come the Highland Hawks. Ball stolen by Schrader. So we got multiple players down on the floor. Schrader's going to bring it down for the Titans. He'll go to the foul line, kick it out to White. Three ball from the left side, and it's good. Colin White. Colin White's got 19, and he's played a really nice game. Do you know what's really improved in his game? His perimeter jump shooting. It has really just taken off to the next level. What I mean by the perimeter jump shot is ability to shoot it with range. 52-44. We'll be back right after these messages. We're back here at Ottawa Glen of High School with 4.58 to go. And the Titans are down 52-44 to the Berlin Highland Hawks. And really, they got to make something happen in a quick way. Well, and I think that timeout by Coach McLaughlin's excellent from this standpoint. You're allowed to give your kids an opportunity to catch their breath, especially the ones that's logged a lot of minutes. The problem is now you're down to two with the last five minutes of the contest. So here come the Highland Hawks. They'll dribble drive on the baseline. Shot goes up, and it's good. And a nice little hesitation move there by Alex Miller as he scores the bucket to make it 54-44 with 4.37 to go. Colin White up top. He'll dribble drive foul line. They'll get Schrader on a drive, and they're going to try him up, and they're going to say a held ball, and it goes back to the Titans. It, it just seems like... To me, Gilly, the Highland is is a step quicker right now. They get they're getting they a really good well, position. I mean, look at yeah. they changed their whole philosophy offensively. That now they've went small. Yeah. You know, and your OG, you, you, you've got to make the decision which route you want to go now. Alex Wagner knocks in the triple, and it makes it 54-47 with 4:20 to go, and the Highland Hawks throw the ball away because of the pressure of the OG Titans. 4.19 to go, Highland up 54-47. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert from a packed Supreme Court gymnasium here on the campus of Ottawa Glandorf High School. This is what high school basketball is all Absolutely. about. Absolutely. This Doesn't is what we love. Miss. No, this is what we love. Tomazo's jumper from the foul line, and it's good. GT for, for two. two. <laughs> GT for two, 54-49. And OG in that pressure, trying to get another steal. Here come the Highland Hawks. They'll bring it down the left side of the floor. They want to speed them up, don't they? They, they want to sure get do. them to shoot a shot that they're not comfortable with or a quick, a quick release. Alexander Miller with the ball up top, guarded by Schrader. They'll go inside. They'll bring it back up top. A little flex action by the Hawks here. Detweiler goes into the middle, and he is blocked. Shot is blocked, and they're going to say the ball goes back to Ottawa Glamour. Sammy Detweiler had the action. 
avenue, he just gets blocked you among the trees. You blocked or stuffed? Stuffed. <laughs> stuffed, <laughs> stuffed, <laughs> stuffed, whatever. I mean, yeah, whatever you that basketball it. did not leave his hands. Colin got his hands on it and pushed it right back down to him. Nice defensive play there. 3.36 to go. Highland up 54-49. Colin White with the ball. White's got 19 to lead all scores. He'll swing it to the right side. Three ball from the right side, and it's off the mark. Rebound comes down to the Titans. This is Colin White. Little spin at the middle, and he shoots the ball, and he misses it. Shot comes back, and it's corralled by Tomazos. Wagner with the ball out top, 3.16 to go. Colin White on the left side. He'll dribble drive foul line. He'll pull it back out. 3.11 to go, 54-49 here. Highland in the lead. They'll go Wagner. Looks to try to get it inside. GT on the outside, tries to push it into Schrader. Schrader kicks it to GT. GT for three on the left side. It's good. It's big. Three. And it's 54, 40, or 50, excuse me, 54, 52. This place is going bananas. Here come the Highland Hawks. Sammy Detweiler, he'll get it to the left side. And there's a timeout on the floor. And this is a big timeout, Danny, before we go to break. Because now OG's getting the opportunity to not only set their defense, but get some quality rest. With 2.43 to go, the OG Titans are down 54-52. We'll have more action right after these messages. Welcome back to Ottawa Glendorf High School with 2.43 to go in a packed Supreme Court gymnasium. We're at 54-52. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert, 2.43 to go. These two Titans, and excuse the pun, of high school basketball. Good grief, couple of those fans, they gotta move back <laughs> off the court, they're almost out there playing. Here That's comes. awesome to see, though. It is. Here's the Highland Hawks, 2.36 to go. They're up 54-52. Nice triple drive to the basket with his left hand, and he scores. Are you kidding me? Alex Miller, the 5'9 sophomore, knocks it in and he makes it 56-52. Here comes Colin White. He'll dribble drive to the foul line, takes it inside, shot goes up, gets his own rebound, and he scores. Colin White. Colin White's got 21 to lead everybody on the floor. I was going to tell you, the Miller kid for a sophomore, what great handles oh, he has. Oh, he's phenomenal. He's phenomenal. They've got two. The they've got two fantastic guards and oh, Alex Miller and close. Sammy Detweiler. Oh, and they got, oh, they Coach Schleimann is going to take a timeout. That one was close. 2.04 to go. We'll take a timeout. Now we'll step aside. We'll be back with more action right after these messages. We're back here at Ottawa Glendorf High School with 2.04 to go. The Highland Hawks out of Holmes County lead the Ottawa Glendorf Titans 56-54. And this place is really rocking right now. Student sections on their feet. And the home crowd a little bit excited. And now we're at the two minute mark exactly. And Gilly, Colin White's got 21, Sammy Dellweiler's got 17. It's been back and forth well, all night. But, but here's the thing with the exception of Dettweiler at 79%, their other best free throw shooter is only at 66. Oh, and the OG coaching staff will know that. I can Trust guarantee you that. 57% yeah. is the team. They are fully aware of that. And there's a near steal by the Titans. We're down to 149. There's a dribble drive on the left side. They'll kick it back out. We're at 144. This is Detweiler. Goes off the left. It's blocked by oh Colin White. My. Colin White knocks the ball out of nowhere. And Sammy Detweiler doesn't get the bucket. Did anybody retrieve the basketball? <laughs> I don't know where it went. We can't see from big our vantage point. It was a big time block. You know, an OG coming in just under 71 at the free throw line. So they've got to find a way to get to the free throw line. Knocking them in. And also, with a little luck. There's oh, a steal by White. Good, He's going to take it down. Good, Hammer good. time. <laughs> Colin White's got 23. Gilly, he's the best player on the floor. For you, <laughs> my friend Aaron. <laughs> Boom, shakalaka. <laughs> oh, my goodness, we get paid to do this job. This is the best. 124 to go. We're all nodded at 56. Here come the Highland Hawks. Little triple drive in the foul line. They'll kick it back out to the left side. Dribble drive baseline. Little turnaround jumper, shot goes up, and it's off the mark. And the Titans have a chance to take the lead with 1.06 to go. Gilly, do they hold the ball? What do you think they're doing in this situation? Well, you got the ball in your best player's hands right now. you got to believe they're going to have to send a double at him. 56 seconds to go. 
OG with the ball. We're all nodded, and there's a foul out top. And they're going to get Alex Miller with the foul. Miller's got 11 tonight. He's played a really good game. I'm looking at total fouls. Yeah, they've got a few to give, don't they? They do. You're right, they do. So OG's got to play exceptionally strong with the basketball. Now remember, OG's got two timeouts. Berlin sure. Highland's got two timeouts. OG, two fouls. Highland's got one foul. We're down to 50 seconds, Gilly. We're all nodding at 56. Danny Hobart, Darren Gilbert from a jam-packed gymnasium here on the campus of Ottawa Glendorf High School. We're all nodding at 56 in this big-time matchup in the state of Ohio in boys basketball. Down to 37 seconds. This is Grady Tomazos. He's got 14 on the night. He's been sensational. Colin White got, has the ball at the top. We're down to 29 seconds. White's going to hold the ball. No pressure, no counting from the official. They'll go Caden Erford. Erford brings it back to White. We're down to 20 seconds. 56 all. You got to believe Colin White's the guy. They're going to try to pressure him up top. They're going to double team him and bring two at him, and they're going to foul him at the half court line with 12 seconds to go. Yeah, Coach Slayball's trying to use the clock while also fouling. You know, great strategy. But the problem is, again, I'll tell you, 71% at the free throw line versus 57. He's going to try. He's going to tell him to foul again. Erford's going to trigger the ball in. They'll get it into Grady Tomazos. We're down to 12 seconds. We're at 10. Tomazos pressured. He's going to go foul it, and there's another foul. And, and a shoe. <laughs> the shoe fell off. <laughs> hey, no joke. Last night, we there was a kid in the game that me and Mark couldn't figure out. He blew the insole out of his shoe. Alex Miller gets his shoe put back on. And uh, poor guy, he uh, that, that shoe went up into the crowd. Yeah. <laughs> Erford's going to trigger the ball in, and there's going to be a timeout. We're going to keep it right here, Gilly, with 8.7 seconds to go. Look, it's no secret what what you and I believe is going to happen here in the next eight seconds. He's got one foul to give. Yeah. He's going to let the ball come in. He's going to foul again. He's going to put them in a position where they've got to hit a last-second shot. If, I, if I'm Coach Slayball, you've got to believe that's what he's going to do. Double team white and make somebody else take that last shot. But I think he's gonna use one more foul. Well, whatever happens, you look at where we were to start the fourth quarter. Gilly, they were down 10. They have done an unbelievable, they were down 48-38, yeah. Twice. Twice, they in were the down game. 10. Yeah. yeah, in the game. <laughs> Almost had my fingers up in your face, we, I apologize. <laughs> we've had a great night here tonight talking to the announcers from the television stations in Holmes County. We've been back and forth with these guys. Great, great guys. People, great yeah, people. Yeah, great guys. And they've been telling us their things. We've been telling them things about OG. So what a great night for high school hey, basketball. we got to get shout out to Coach Slayball, Berlin oh, Island, getting goodness. us the numbers and the stats. Oh, Tyson McLaughlin, not Rex, only that, Rex Gilly, Johnson. Not only that, the courage to come on this side of the oh. state and play a power like OG. All the respect to that program. Well, it, Absolutely. You know, an OG, you know, part of my heart's here because you being in the WBL, sure. the people always treat me good when I come in here. Yes, you know, absolutely. Kudos to them and the administration. And All right, here we go, Here Gilly. we go. Caden Erford's going to trigger the ball in on the opposite side of the benches. 8.7 seconds. They're double teaming White. They've got two on him. That's going to leave somebody clearly open. They get the ball to White. White's got it at half court. Here comes Colin White. We're down to six seconds, five seconds. Colin White, top of the key. Three ball on the way. And it's off. No, it's it. Colin White. And oh, he does it. Go, go get it. Colin White. Colin White. Mr. White. Are you kidding Don't me? Don't be too busy here. Yeah, now, hang on. They're going to see about putting some time back on the clock, I believe. Colin White knocks in the triple. But, but, but here's my concern. Okay, that basketball sit on that rim for a second or second and yes, a half. Yes, It was no swish. Yeah, it kind of just bounced back Absolutely. and forth. Absolutely. It'll be interesting to see what kind of time they put on the clock because it hit the rim, backboard, rim, and it dropped in. What a high school basketball game. Colin White's got 26 tonight. Everybody in the gym knew who was going to shoot the ball. Everybody on both sides. Colin White steps up. Gilly, he, was, he had two guys on him. He just jumped he above just him. He just elevated. He just elevated. You're right. And that, that's where his game is. That's where his production of his game is so much vastly improved. Gilly, I am so excited for this kid at the next level. I, you know, he's got his detractors. And people all the time ask me, can he play at Ohio State? Absolutely. Well, I know can. there was some optimism last year at the state tournament when you the, the word around was Ohio State was concerned about yeah. this and that. The kid put the time in, went and played AAU in Indiana. There ain't no concern on this young man. He no, is no. an absolute 
he taller. May, he may be a 6'6 point guard. I'm going to be curious to see what time goes on the clock. <laughs> Not to change the subject. No. Because if I'm those three officials, you're either going to make one side happy or one side is going to be disappointed. Let's see what they're going to do here, Gilly. They are going to put, hang on to your hats here. The official's still talking. Coach McLaughlin is at the scorer's table, and they are doing something with the Well, clock. he knows the yeah. clock. He's the AD. He's the, you're right. He's the athletic director. He's probably the guy's nervous to put stuff on the clock <laughs> right. as well as I would be. Uh, I'm thinking maybe, Gilly, I'm thinking Sammy Detweiler here with the ball. What's your thoughts? Well, G's got three, two fouls to give themselves. Sure, sure. Use them. Absolutely. Oh, geez, two fouls to give. You know what I'm saying? Use, I'm, I'm shocked, and I will never question a coach. <laughs> right. Okay, because I've been Off there. The air we will. <laughs> I've been there in the car. Sure. Because <laughs> I trust you, but no. I, I'm shocked that the, 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 the one more foul wasn't committed. Right, right. I, I, I agree. But you know what, Coach Slayball, and his respect for Colin White, and, if and, we're going to lose or go behind, it's going to be well, to Colin also, White. too, Gilly, part of that, I'm sure, from, He's from, too good of a from Tyson McLaughlin is, look, if we go to the rim, you're going to get fouled. Well, Take your chances from behind. You look, he takes the last shot of the game. You're going to win it or well, not. They give him point nine. Point nine okay. on the clock. Point nine. So Berlin Highland will take it out on the opposite of the four with point nine seconds to go. Ottawa Glendorf up 59, 56. Westrick has his hands up on the ball. OG up three with Just nine tenths of a second. He's going to take a timeout. Yeah, yeah Coach Tyson's McLaughlin's going to take, take a timeout. Time out. Yeah. We're going to take a timeout. You know what? We're going to build the suspense. We're going to take a timeout. When we come back, we'll have the final conclusion of Ottawa Glendorf High School. <laughs> Back here at Ottawa Glendorf High School with nine tenths of a second left, Gilly. They're going to inbounds from the far end of the floor. Two OG fouls up 59 56. Here we go. OG up 59 56. Big huh? Dave Westrick's on the basketball. Little lengths. They're six, running seven. Seven. They get it down low. Colin oh, White steals it. And, and that's steal. it from the Supreme Court. The Ottawa Glendorf Titans win 59 56. We'll come back and wrap this one up from Ottawa Glendorf. We're back here at Ottawa Glendorf High School. The Titans pull out an unbelievable win over the Berlin Highland Hawks. Danny Holbert, Darren Gilbert from a sold out Supreme Court. And Gilly, what a game. Colin White hits a three with nine tenths of a second to go. He finishes with 26, Titans win. Titans win, and you know what? This was a great high school atmosphere. Uh, regardless of who would have won, we've seen two teams going at it. Nip and tuck, uh, two well played games. Uh, both with the JVs, well coached games, kids laid it on the line, and uh, you know Collins bebopping his way over here. Well, I don't want to keep it too long because that deserve yeah. kid deserves all the time in the world. So I'm going to turn it over to Colin. And Sammy Detweiler finishes the uh, finishes the game with 17. Berlin Highland came in at 10 and three. They'll go to 10 and four on the season. And we have got a special guest coming in here right now. A special guest, and Colin White is getting suited up here. We're going to get the headset on him. <laughs> Gilly's, Gilly's doing a little bit of hugging and some love here. <laughs> I'm doing great, Colin. Have a seat. <laughs> Congratulations, my man. Camera right over here. What an impressive win. Listen, what were you thinking down 10, start of the fourth quarter? Uh, you know, it's uh, they were hitting shots, you know, and we weren't getting stops. So, uh, you know, we were struggling on the offensive end. And, and going to that fourth quarter, just all about pride, all about fighting. And, you know, I thought we did that. You know, we had a couple guys step up in big time spots, you know, that, that, are, that haven't been there this year. They, they stepped up big time. And, you know, that's what OG's about. And really, Colin, were you surprised the way they came out? They really punched you in the mouth early. You guys responded. Yeah, I, I mean, no, we weren't surprised. We, we seen the film. They, they come out and punch teams. That's what they do. You know, they came out and uh, hit Luther knees pretty good in the first quarter. That's what they do. And, uh, you know, just, just taking those punches and fighting back, I knew I thought we responded there at the end of the second half and kind of did the same thing in the fourth quarter. Can you tell us what Coach McLaughlin said to you before the shot? He said, let's get Kyle on the ball and, you know, you know, let's just see what's open. Uh, so he just he, he gives me the reins. You know, I've, I've missed two game winners this year, and, you know, he just trusts me trusts me to, to take another one. So, you know, it's a, it's the ultimate trust, and I, I want to have a rep. Kyle, for us guys coach. that played high school basketball that never got that shot, what's that feel like? Oh, it's awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. 
<laughs> when it goes down, you feel like you can conquer the world, but you know, it's an awesome feeling. Well, congratulations, man. I love your game. I'm so excited for you. I'm excited for you next year at Ohio State. Keep playing, buddy. Keep Thank playing. you. Thank yeah, you. Go, go Bucks. Go Titans. <laughs> Colin White, our guest here. What a great game. He finishes with 26. The Titans win.